Hello everyone, this is ALC84 and today I'm going to show you how to put the Mac Supreme theme on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So let's let's take a, a quick look at it real quick. And you can see it looks like the Mac. Alright. Here goes your iTunes, your your app store, your city at photos, and you can also search your music. In this folder we have contacts, phone, texting, and all that stuff calendar, weather, clock, all that stuff here. Okay, this folder is your apps. You can put anything you want here, doesn't matter. And all your extra apps go in this folder. And then let's check out the panel over here. I got the winter board right here. I got the um, categories and spring jumps right here. And then the HD is just my external hard drive. It's just the um, extra folder you don't have to have it but I put mine on there okay let's get started first you need to make sure your iPod touch or iPhone is jailbroken to do this go to blackrain.com and rain is spelled with a one not an I and depending on if you're a Windows user or a Mac user download the file according to that once you download that just um, make sure your iPod touch or iPhone is connected to the computer Make sure iTunes is closed and just hit make it rain and it'll be jailbroken within a few seconds. Once you've done that, you're going to have to install Cydia. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You're going to have a new icon on your, on your springboard called Black Rain. Just click on it. And where it says Cydia, click install at the top right. Okay. Once Cydia is installed, you're going to want to add this source. This will add all sources to Cydia. Click on Manage. Click on Sources. Click on Edit at the top and click Add. And this is where you'll add this source right here apt.pwncenter.com. I already have mine installed, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, once you do that and let it reload, you're going to go to search and look for, you're going to type in all sources. As you can see, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. Once that is done, you're going to need to install all of the following apps right here. You're going to need categories, you're going to need iBlank, Blank Null, you're going to need Spring Jumps. Infinity Dock and Winterboard. Now, the following you're going to need for Winterboard are the Mac OS X Pod, the Mac OS X Pod Mobile, the MOS XM Walls, and the Mac OS X Mobile SB settings. Now, you don't have to have both iPod and mobile, but the mobile theme looks a lot better than the iPod, so I just have mobile on mine. And as far as the um, mobile SB settings, I'll show you what that is right now. You swipe the status bar at the top of your screen, and the drop down menu comes down. You can enable your 3G unrestrictor, Bluetooth, your brightness, processes, SSH, VNC, volume, and your Wi Fi. And you can also load your icon into a dock, which I do not have. See, it's empty. And you can refresh, respring, turn off, you can go to your settings, you can do anything you need to do from this little status bar right here. It's pretty easy. Alright, once you install uh, all the stuff you're going to need, go ahead and open up categories. So I'll go ahead and do that with you now. Okay, click on manage folder, edit, and add. This is where you're going to add your two your two folders or three since I have mine are set up as three name it apps and one games after you're done with that put all the apps put all your games in your games and put all your apps in your apps folder okay now we're gonna I'm gonna show you what each one looks like so let me go ahead and uh, turn off 
both of these. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. You're going to see your spring jumps and all your your applications. You're going you're going to want to go ahead and set it up exactly like I have mine. Let's go ahead and let me show you the next thing. See how they're all lined up and they're spaced out. Well, the only way to do that is with eye blanks. So you're going to open up eye blanks and select as many blank icons as you need and then you can move them around and set it up exactly like this so let me go back to the first page you got everything like this four five six eight and settings you got just your web stuff safari okay on mine i took safari out because safari isn't a very good browser and instead i downloaded an app from Cydia called a browser and it's much better Okay, here's the next page for your games. Put two games on top and then put the number seven below that. Next one, you have your winter board, categories, spring jumps, and in your extra folder. If you don't have your extra folder, that's fine. You don't need it. <clears throat> Here you have iTunes, your app store, your Cydia, your photos, and your music. Next page. This is for your contacts, your maps, your phone and text. If you don't have phone and text, that's fine. You can put anything else there. Originally, it's supposed to be stocks and calculator, so just put whatever you want. Here you have your calendar, your weather, notes, and your clock. Make sure you have all these blank icons there or else it won't work properly. Here you can have your games page. Put six games and then put your game folder below it. Here's you can put any apps you want and at the very last one you're going to want to have your apps um, folder and it d whenever I installed my spring jumps I did come with a whole other page but I just removed those because you don't need them so anyway that's how that looks let me go ahead and show you what each theme looks like for the iPod and the mobile okay now this is how the theme for your iPod version looks you got your apps over here instead of a panel and as you can see the apps folder no longer works but you can still click it it still will go to your eighth page and as you can see it also has the um, the Mac City website behind it along with this slinky looking more apps button instead of the folder I don't like this version so I'm gonna go ahead and set it back okay one thing I forgot to mention is you need to set up your infinity dock so go to settings Scroll down till you get to Infinity Dot, and then you're gonna change where it says Icon per page to five. And then it'll respring, and then you'll be able to put all five icons down here at the bottom. Also, um, another thing I noticed after you um, set up your theme is that your icons don't line up correctly. They'll be displayed over the words where it says Favorite Ones, Favorite Two. Anyway, to change it. All you gotta do is go to your spring jumps or general and where it says page titles uncheck that okay well that about covers everything um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you still have any problems you can contact me by sending a message or leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can if you like this video please rate a 5 and don't forget to subscribe thank you